two, three, four, get my shoes and out the door. Five, I'm alive, six, seven, eight, feeling great. Nine, gonna shine, life is good. I'm doing fine, ten, gonna do it right and do it again. Say, oh, 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 and I'm Kevin, and, and we're, we're the, the Jacks, Jacks of all shades. shades. That worked pretty good. We did that. Yeah, we didn't even have to practice. <laughs> we didn't have to edit it a whole bunch of times. Good job. Teamwork. Yeah, it makes the dream work. <laughs> so, um, greetings to you wherever you are uh, out there. But we decided to you know, kick off another conversation um, with you guys. Of course, if you have been tuning in to uh, our vlog cast, um, our family vlogs or whatever, you know that we kind of share, you know, what's going on in, in our lives, our lives, <laughs> <laughs> our lives. We share what's going on with our family. Um, we have an intro. We have an interesting dynamic because we're interracial. <laughs> Marriage, family. That's like a buzzword now. It is interracial. Interracial. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> She looks like she's getting annoyed, so I'm just going to stop now. But, you know, we share everything that, that actually happens, and um, we have an interesting story. Yeah, so our our vlog cast uh, kind of stems from a story that just happened. Do you want to start it or you want me to start it? You're looking at me <laughs> like you want me to start it. Go ahead. She's looking at me like she wants, go ahead, tell it, tell it. Okay, well, I'll tell it then. All right, so let's give some context. Okay, so just a little bit of context. In the black community, at least, hair is super important. And so I know one bond that the boys and I have shared, and I just say the boys because Zoe just started growing hair. <laughs> she was practically looking like me. She was literally, literally my twin for a long time. But... Hair is important um, in the black community. So with that being said, we've always been, you know, very cautious about, you know, letting them choose what they want to do with their, their hair and like really wanting them to love their hair. Right. And so Jackson comes home and jump in whenever you want to. And he's sitting with Laurie. And. He looks at a picture of his class, and what does he what does he tell you? Well, he so he sees it and he says, uh, "My hair is is kind of weird." It's like, what do you mean? He said, "It it looks kind of weird because it's it's tall." So to provide you guys some context, for the longest time, the boys had super high t- tops. <laughs> Did I think Jackson started off with an afro, mm-hmm. and then we we kind of cut it into a. He was the first. We I mean I didn't want I didn't want to own it. I was ready to cut I that didn't thing cut off. His hair for a while. He looked like he could have been a member of the Jackson Five at one point, <laughs> the seventies version. But but even now we give them <laughs> now we give them a little bit more of a choice. So Terrence, he likes his hair short. Like he'll say right away, I want mine short. And Jackson has always, I mean. Jackson loves his hair. He's always said, keep it long. He wants it long. He wants it trim. He wants it big. He wants his, like his hair. He's literally like very into his hair. So I don't mess with him. You know, I, I cut their hair. And so when he, he, he gives me specific instructions even though he's five, I follow those instructions. I try not to 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 violate his his little autonomy that he has going on. So with that said, he said it looked weird, right? Or it looked strange. He said it was kind of weird because it was tall. <laughs> so I mean, I did point out, and um, somebody else had tall hair in his class, but he said, "Well, that's different. He has a mohawk." And so I guess in looking. <laughs> In looking at his class picture, uh, the I guess the best way to put it is, you know, there's not 
there is there anybody that looks there there's not anybody that looks looks like him. And so I assume that he's looking at super straight hair that lay, lays down and is like, you know, my hair is different. And so he's recognizing that his hair is is different in some way. And so Larry's about to cry over here. <laughs> I mean, of course, as a parent, you know, my heart was broken uh, as a mom, especially. I think um, you just you don't want your kid to have any struggles. You don't want you want them to love themselves and be confident with who they are. And I think we've done a great job of that. But I think it's harder whenever they go out into the real 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 world, real world, <laughs> real, real world, world. Real world. <laughs> The real world. <laughs> the real world, y'all. Um, and then, <laughs> so when they go out into the real world, I think uh, it's harder to, I mean, you start comparing yourself. That's just human nature. So, I mean, on, on the hair topic, I, I think it's, I think it caught Laurie by surprise more so than it caught, caught me by surprise because, you know, people, people have always, well, I don't have hair anymore, and so I get a little envious. But <laughs> growing up, you know, the the thing, a lot of people, well, I shouldn't say a lot of people, people who have not seen uh, coarse African-American hair, they tend to be, how shall I say it, curious. So, you know, people ask you to touch your hair. No, you can't touch my hair. Uh, people say, you know, whatever the case looks like carpet. So since I was little, I've kind of dealt with this. So I think it bothered, I think it bothered Laurie more so than it bothered me. You know, I, I, I expected to have this conversation at some point with him about, you know, about his hair. And so just to give you, give you some context, Jackson and Terrence's hair is more, is more coarse. And you know, it, Terrence is like you know he's working on his he's working on his waves, right? Now. <laughs> <laughs> he's working on his waves. Uh, if you don't know what waves are, uh, ask your ask uh, your male black friends what waves are, and they'll they'll kindly explain it to you. But that's what Terrence is working on. So he has like very like wavy hair now since he cut it off. Jackson is just like he's just up there right now. So. He don't really even like to comb that that thing. I be having to make him comb it <laughs> and make him treat it. You know, he has to put his product, keep it soft and everything. It's it's a lot of maintenance, but you know, he likes his hair. So with that said, I mean, were you shocked or I mean, I think it's I don't know that I was shocked. I just don't think I was ready for it. So of course, uh I brought in the planets. <laughs> But then I stand corrected. He corrected me with that too. <laughs> she brought she brought in the planets to you showed them you showed them Saturn. The solar he he has he loves space and he, they had painted this little uh, model of a so our solar system. And you show you show him Saturn, and you say what's different about Saturn? And of course, Saturn has rings. And he doesn't he think Saturn is really cool anyway. Mm -hmm. So he thinks Saturn is is cool. So it was a good analogy there. But there, but you know. And then he it, says, "Well, I remember because <laughs> that's not the only planet with rings." <laughs> the rings. Like, oh, of course. Oh, the way he said it, dummy. <laughs> it's not the only planet with rings, dummy. What were you doing with this metaphor, yeah. my? <laughs> but it, it, you were trying to explain to him that. Being unique, being different is isn't a bad thing. You can stand out and and be cool. I don't. What's a cool? Is not even a, a cool word anymore, is it? <laughs> Listen, you you a parent now, so you just you just use what you know and what's you cool old word? now. What's the cool word? I don't know. What, Do people say cool? No, <laughs> no. Anywho, yeah, but it sounds weird if you're telling them lit. <laughs> So yeah, get back on get it back on. We're deviating. Okay, so I guess our question is like, can you teach that diversity? Can you 
can you yeah you i think as a parent you kind of build them up you can build their confidence and reassure them in different things but i think it's harder whenever they go out into the real world and they are already starting to compare themselves or notice things that are different right because uh, i think the big thing is it really doesn't it matters how you perceive yourself but a lot of it has to do with how the world perceives you and i feel like that is what you have to prepare them for more so than than how they see themselves i think you know you can definitely reinforce however you want a child to see themselves at home but it's when they start dealing with the world's perception of who who they are i think that's when it gets a little bit tricky but with that said you know i kind of knew this day was coming and so i don't think you <laughs> you thought the, the this day was coming but a lot of people still and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be very. No, I'm not gonna be cautious saying this. A lot of people haven't seen black people or been around like you know different looking black people per se. And so I think, you know, when you look at the spectrum of actual blackness, like there's so many different types of of black. And so when you come up in the black community. I feel like, you know, you exposed to a wide array of, you know, of different ways that people look. And so for for me at least, it's it's not weird at all. But I'm I'm assuming for, you know, an elementary school kid who's only, you know, seen this type of, you know, people, or let's, you know, say they're white, say they're Asian, they can be whatever. If you've only ever seen one of one thing, you're gonna be curious. And so I think your concern was, did someone Say something to him. Of course. You know, Mama Bear come out like, who said something? First, first of all, <laughs> this was like a throwback. You know, they say that you kind of marry a woman with some of your mother's tendencies. <laughs> <laughs> the way she was like, did, did someone tell you about, did someone say something about your hair? <laughs> did someone say something about your hair? It threw me back to all the classic <laughs> 90s movies. Like, do we have a problem here? Like, <laughs> did someone say something about your hair? I walked into the conversation like that. That's how I was introduced to the conversation. Yay, man. And so <laughs> it looked like she was ready to fight somebody. But, you know, <laughs> I stepped in and, you know, we started having the discussion. So she brought out the planets and, and everything like that. But I guess going back to the topic of, can you teach diversity, right? I'm going to give my opinion. I don't think you can teach that. And the reason I say that is because it's like it's like working a job. You know how they like you get more um you you learn more from actual experience. So you can read all in the, uh, all in the textbooks about you know, oh, this culture and that culture, but you never have an appreciation for that specific culture until like you immerse yourself in that culture. Right. And so I don't think you can teach that. And I say it with myself all the time. I didn't know really anything. I mean, I'm married to a Hispanic woman. Right. But culturally, I was ignorant to anything, you know, having to do with Hispanic culture. And so, of course, I read books, but books are very different from like real life experience. And so I think you have a different appreciation when you when you have that experience. The sad part is a lot of people don't ever have that experience. And I think, you know, that's one of the reasons that we even do this show is so people see, you know, other people's culture is, is not is not scary at all. I think we both had, you know, we were both kind of like scared when we first got together to, to you know, I guess, see, okay, you know, how they going to perceive me, how I'm going to fit in. But in the end, it all works out. But, you know, long, long story short, in my opinion, you can't teach it. You have to immerse yourself into culture in order to be able to. I mean, I would agree. I think you can teach to appreciate and to accept uh, everyone for 
who they are. Uh, but I mean, I think it's it's hard, like you said, until you have those experiences with different cultures, different people, people that don't necessarily look like you. I think it's hard to know how to react, uh, like you said, being curious or even ask questions that could be. Laurie's going to lose her mind the first time Jackson comes home and says, someone, so-and-so asked me to touch my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're going to lose your mind. I already know. I, I mean, mean, I think, and that's that's some of the things I'm talking about. I think people get curious and they just don't know how to react or necessarily they're accepting but they're still asking questions or the what are you <laughs> that question i know we've, we've talked about that on one of our past episodes um yeah but i i think i think that it will be i don't think it, it i think it, it really depends on just like the amount of people who look like you so for instance, Terrence's class is like super melting pot, and, and Jackson's is just different. You know, it's it's like Jackson and maybe one other little girl that that like pretty much. I mean, it's it's just Jackson in that class, um, and and you know he looks different from everybody else. So I assume that it is in his mind now. You you're getting to the age where parents pick you up, and you know you get to see other people's parents. So I. I at some point, I assume that he's going to be like, they have two white parents. They have two black parents. My parents are black and <laughs> you white. I don't know what you are, mom, but. What? <laughs> they know they black and Hispanic. <laughs> it's funny because Jackson will tell you that. <laughs> I'm a black Hispanic. <laughs> he's pretty bright, by the way. Maybe. Um, but I guess e e even so, moving on, um, is this this whole thing is happening with the the controversy of the whole hair love, um, book and the the show where you know you had similar stories being told, but you know hair is important, and so I just wanted to make sure you know he he knew that you not you not cutting your hair. I'm going to tell you what I told. I'm going to be straight up. I'm going to be straight up. I went dad mode. I say, look. I say, do you like your hair? He says, yes, sir. I say, okay. So do you want to cut your hair? And then he told me, no, he didn't want to cut his hair. I say, well, we ain't cutting your hair. We're not going to cut our hair or we're not going to do anything to look like anybody else. And that's that. And I say, you understand? And he shook his hand, he shook his head, and he said that he understood. So, you know, I felt like I felt like we had a a good bonding father son moment right there. But no, I'm not gonna. I, even if he wanted me, if he was begging me, I wouldn't let him cut it at this point. Not just because he sees that other kids don't have his type of hair. I because, mean, because again, Kevin's asked him multiple times. He's been cutting his hair for. A while now. A long time. And every time he wants a trim, he doesn't want to cut it off. See, this is we working on this, people. It's it's an edge up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got the edge up, but then you also he wants he wants a trim from his hair. He, he wants a little off the top. A little off the top. He wants an edge up. He want he wants a line. <laughs> he will she, we still working on Edge up are the lines and a trim is off the top, like you we said. We still we still working on that. <laughs> You gonna punch me on camera? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, edge up, yes, but also a trim, which a little off the top. Is that <laughs> is that better? He was a little off the top, and an edge up, of course. <laughs> okay, if you drop, okay, so let's say you dropping them off at the barber shop. What do you, what do you tell the barber? That you what do you what do you tell if him? I'm dropping him off, he's gonna be old enough to <laughs> no, tell the barber what he wants. No, see. I was being dropped off at the barbershop to wait all day, starting at age six. So we're only a year out from this. So you drop him off. Well, good thing I'm dropping him off to the barbershop, a.k.a. dad. <laughs> you drop him off to the... Say I can't cut his hair one day. All right. You got to drop him he off to the barbershop. You, <laughs> you drop him off. You drop him to the barbershop. 
You're on the spot right now. What do you tell him? What do you tell the barber? What do you tell him? You want? He you went want. a little off the top <laughs> and the edge up. Is that, that wrong? Uh-huh. Is that wrong? We'll work on it. We'll work on it off, off cam. You know, <laughs> what about Terrence? <laughs> you just go, okay, so Terrence, you just walk in there, you just say, hey, you know, he, want, he wants a, a Caesar or even all. Or a taper. Boom. That's it. That's it. We love our hair. We love our hair. But then there's different tapers, right? There's a ball taper or ball fade. So you got a ball fade, which I've given them a ball fade. You didn't really like that no, too much. No, I don't um, want that. You have a taper, but, you know, there's different types of tapers. It can get very intricate. It, it's, <laughs> it can get very... We're having a, a, str- we're having a passive argument <laughs> about when you go to the barbershop, what should you be asking for? So... I mean, with 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 all of that said, I think the main thing is that yeah, he's not cutting his hair. He's of not gonna cut it. Not. And so um I am going to I am going to trim it. So what he's trying to do he now He said trim it. See, it's just <laughs> You've been waiting for I am going to cut a little bit off uh, take a little you bit off. You said trim it, so I want to chill, 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 <laughs> chill, chill. Chill. Let me run this thing. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a really, I'm a really do it before he goes back to school. I'm a, I'm a give him a nice look. So what he's trying to do is at one point their, their hair was super high. So he's trying to get the, the old school kid and play look going or the old school kid look. So like Jackson has been a professional haircut getter for a while. His first haircut. He didn't even cry. No. Nope. He said that like a grown man and just like, you know, he'll look at the mirror and everything. So I think we just, I just got to give him a really good haircut. But, you know, we've had, we've had this discussion with him and I think it turned out well. I think so. I, I think also, I mean, the conversation isn't over. We will have to continue to have the conversation and of course expose him uh, to people that do have similar hairstyles to as himself and show him, you know, that it it's cool. It's lit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll Abort. <laughs> Abort. <laughs> Abort. Get out of there. Get out of there. No, I think, I think that's the main thing is that, you know, you just gotta, just gotta let them know. But, you know, hair hair is gonna be super important to him and, and both Terrence. I can already, you know, you can already tell. So, you know, they got their brushes, they got their picks, and you know, the the main thing right now is I'm teaching them, you know, the different the different things you have to do with your hair. You know, even though I don't have hair, <laughs> I've walked this road. So for Terrence, you know, we got the sporting waves going. You know, I'm trying to teach him how to train his hair to, so he can get extra wavy. So he he's kind of grown it out. And so he's trying to get his wave game going. <laughs> With Jackson, you know, we just trying to to keep that thing untangled because he don't he doesn't like, you know, you have to pick your hair out a lot. Uh, you know, if you have a if you have a fro or if you have a high top, you gotta constantly be be pick, picking that thing. But you know. And Zoe. Poor Zoe. I'm just we I'm praying. You know, that's what I'm doing for Is this for Zoe. growing? Uh Zoe has like a nice little And she like has a, her little spray. You know, she has like a this is a funny <laughs> This is a funny story. I just thought of this when you brought Zoe up. So this is the stuff that you go through like when when <laughs> you're in an interracial uh marriage, you know, because I get introduced to 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 things and she gets introduced to things. So Laurie's working on Zoe's hair, right? That's something I'm gonna have to do because, you know, she's gonna have a different type of hair that I'm not that I'm not used to dealing with either because, you know, my mom and sister's hair is different. You know, I used to help my mom with her hair a little bit, you know, in the morning <laughs> time, you know. I don't wanna give myself no credit, but you know, 
I, I'm gonna give myself some credit. But anyway, oh, wow. anyway, so <laughs> this is funny. So, <laughs> did you order it intentionally, or how did you? Okay, so you so Larry was looking like for a, a detangler, and we've had a couple of different ones, and they didn't work. And <laughs> and I know her hair is a different texture than mine because I've I've used detangler um, when I was a kid and when I was younger. And so, what what brand did you get? What was it? So when she brings home the brand, I immediately start <laughs> singing, "Just for me." <laughs> that is the brand. Because <laughs> it took me back to my childhood, uh, where the they had the "Just for Me." If you don't know what "Just for Me" is, um, they they create. Uh, products for for black hair, and so they used to have these commercials on the radio and on TV, where uh, it would be like "Just for Me," and "Tangling Free." I don't know, but I was singing it to her. She's like, "What are you singing?" I was like, "You ain't never heard the <laughs> Just for Me" song. Never. Come on now. But yeah, she got. Suffice so to say, it, it works really well. <laughs> Actually, I've been I've been spraying some of that stuff in Jackson's head to, to, to detangle that thing, but um, yeah. So you know, we 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 getting there. I also we also had a, a a laugh about. I didn't know that this website existed. I had I had heard about it, but <laughs> chocolate hair, <laughs> vanilla care. That to me that was funny, but I guess it's not as funny to me as it is to you, or vice versa. No. Uh. <laughs> Never mind. So anyway, there's a website that basically, um, if your kids have a different, different, you know, grade of hair, then you know it teaches you how to. Are you are you nervous about their hair at all? Yet. I mean, I'm a little nervous about Zoe's. Um, mainly, I mean, she doesn't like to keep anything in her hair. She pulls everything out. Bows gone, barrettes, barrettes. By the way, I've learned. What was I getting confused? Barrettes are different from bows, right? And then the ponytail holders. So yeah, barrettes. Aka I, chungles. Chungles. <laughs> Is that that? <laughs> See. <laughs> um. So chungles, chungles. Okay. See, I just learned something new right there. <laughs> so I got to make sure I'm saying chungles and not Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's correct. <laughs> See, we're giving you, you know, a lesson in Spanish <laughs> and black hair all at the same time. So it's Jonas. Jonas? Chongos. 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 But then it's like a choro. Well, see, I'm going to get the, well, So what's the difference? Uh, it's a choro. I've heard that before. Cholo. Cholo is, that's like the choro stain. That's like a, that's a boo-boo stain, y'all. Choro stain is a boo-boo stain, y'all. Oh, you got me. Okay. And Jonas here. is your under, your under rules. And chongos. 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 That's what we're talking about. Chongos, guess. Like ponytail holders. Okay, they're ponytail holders. Hey, by the end of this year, <laughs> I'm going to be fluent. We're going to be doing uh, a second version of the, the podcast as well. Oh, the vlogcast, I'm sorry. <laughs> vlogcast. So, yeah, long story short, you know, we're on an adventure with, you know, addressing the hair situation. At this point, I felt like we nipped it in the bud. Jackson is, he seems excited for me to cut his hair now because I feel like he wants to go to school and be like, yeah, yeah, new do. Who this? <laughs> Zoe will keep you updated as her hair continues to grow. Uh, I, right now, is, you know, she was looking like me, but it's starting to like throw out. So I'm not sure, you know, what we're... <laughs> What we're gonna do with it? I gotta learn too. So, 
that's gonna be the one thing. That's gonna be the challenge, and I'll I'll share that that um, <laughs> I'll share that that story with you when that that comes along. I'm very nervous because that's coming soon. Because I feel like one day I'm just gonna wake up and she's just gonna have a bunch of hair. So um, I guess that about about covers it. We talked about Jackson's hair and you know his first little hair issue, but we also advise the people on the difference between chongo, chongos. <laughs> Chodos? And, and, and Chodos. Chodos things. And Chonas. <laughs> yeah, that's for that. See? Okay. See you no. Yes. See, that, that happened. <laughs> Thanks for reminding all of us. <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> um, um, yeah. So, we got to close this thing out. So, we're the Jacks of All Shades. Uh, wherever you're listening or... or Watching, make sure you are subscribed. Uh, of course, we do a vlogcast and we do vlogs uh, on our YouTube channel. So um, tune in whenever you can. Again, I'm Kevin. I'm Laurie. And we're, we're the, the Jacks, Jacks of, of All Shades. Shades. We'll see y'all soon. Thanks for listening.